Landboards presents creating part footprints using KiCad. For our example, we'll pick a part that's fairly common to most people and fairly familiar. That's the SD card socket. The first step is to find the data sheet for the part. There's quite a few options on part sources, but I like to use Mauser. In this case, I searched the Mauser site for memory card connectors and came up with the different sorts of connectors. Narrowing down the search to parts that are both in stock and SD type yields 41 different connectors. I then sort by price in an ascending order so that I can find the least expensive part. If you look closely at this list, the first part is end of life and the second part is NRND or not recommended for new design. I wouldn't recommend using either of these parts. I'd go down the list a little farther. This is an example where sorting by price produces interesting results. The first and second line are the same price in quantity one, but the second line is actually cheaper when you get up to quantities like 50. Instead of $1.4, you pay 98 cents per, and that could make a difference. Now, in this case, I like the first part better because it doesn't have a spring-loaded action, and I don't like spring-loaded actions. Looking closely, we can see that the part has a good stock quantity as well. To find the data sheet, you can either click on the Documents tab and find the link, or there's a link farther up to the right in the screen here. Clicking the button pulls up the data sheet, but as you can see, it's rotated. In this case, I would save it and open it in Adobe Reader. Once I load in Adobe Reader, then rotate it until I have it in the proper orientation where I can read it. Next, zoom into the section that shows the footprint and get it as large as you can on your screen. I then run the snipping tool and grab a snapshot of that part of the screen. There's other ways to do it with shift print screen and other keys. I didn't like the result very much, so I did a web search and found a cleaner copy of the same data sheet. Here's the cleaner looking data sheet. Studying the data sheet closely can help you orient yourself to the data sheet. Taking a close look at this data sheet, you can see that there's four support pads around the edge. There's two holes in the middle, which are different sizes, probably not plated through holes in this case. And then there's a number of pads across the top that connect up to the pins that go on your SD card. Some of these pins are different sizes and the spacings are different. And the numberings of pin two and three are kind of strange the way they've written it. So that took some research to go out and try to figure out what the right answer for some of that was. At this point, it helps a lot to annotate the data sheet. For most parts, the pin numbers are pretty obvious. For this part, it wasn't, but it almost never hurts just to put them on there, especially if they're irregular at all. Also, it's really important to pick a good origin point for your coordinate system. That's where the center of the part would be. Now, in this case, most of the dimensions come off the X spot that I've marked there and the Y. So I picked the spot that most of the dimensions uh, converge at. The other thing that I have in the bottom there is a note of which direction X and Y go in positive. Um, it's not like a normal grid in KiCad. Y goes positive down. This next step can be the most difficult. It's doing the math of determining where each point is. I wrote a little uh, program, example program in Python that might help for some people to do that math. One simplifying assumption is to ignore the other dimension. So if you're Figuring out the X dimensions, just ignore the Y and vice versa. If you're figuring out the Y, just ignore the X. That helps quite a bit. The concept of the Python code is to start at a particular known point and calculate each X and Y as you go across the pins relative to that one known point. This concept can be translated into Python code. The position of pin 6 in the X direction is 0. And the position of pin 6 compared to pin 7 is that pin 6 is 2.42 to the right of pin 7. Uh, follow through all of the lines and everything relative to each other and you end up with a constrained set of equations. After solving for all the x and y, print all the values. I'll put a link to this code example in GitHub and below, but you're going to have to do your own particular example and all the code is specific. The rest of the mechanics of creating parts is pretty well described in the documentation. Hopefully this helps you interface with the data sheet and understand how to pull what you need out. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments and we'll try to make more videos along this line. 
Thanks for watching our video, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.